I'm Melanie Ray. Welcome to episode 4 of my vlog. Today's episode is called It's the Little Things. Now, something funny happened to me this morning. I was making my French toast and we were really low on maple syrup, so I decided to get creative and try and make my own syrups out of other spreads. First, I used Nutella. I heated it in the microwave for 30 seconds, took it out, and it turned into yummy chocolate sauce, and it was perfect deliciousness. So next, I decided, why not try peanut butter sauce? So I put the peanut butter jar in the microwave and set it for 30 seconds, and then about 20 seconds in, something started smelling really weird. So I turned around, looked through the translucent microwave door, and the peanut butter is on fire. So I'm like, oh no, oh no, turned it off, opened the microwave door, smoke comes billowing out, and the lid of the peanut butter jar is all charred, and it just smells like horrendousness. Turns out there was a teeny tiny piece of tin foil still attached to the inside rim of the peanut butter jar, and that is what had caused the peanut butter to set on fire. And that got me thinking, Sometimes it's the little things that can make a big difference. There's a lot of times in the Bible where little things make a big difference. For example, the little boy who shares his lunch and Jesus turns five loaves and two fish into enough food for thousands of people. And there's, there was a woman named Dorcas and she actually passes away and all of her friends are saying, but you don't know, you don't understand. This woman was amazing. She made clothes, she gave food to the poor, she showed so much love to our community. And then Peter actually raises her back to life and everyone's really happy. But it was all little things that people remembered about her and people noticed. And this reminds me of another verse in the Bible where Jesus is separating the sheep and the goats. And he turns to the sheep and says, Enter all of you who have the kingdom of heaven ahead of you, because when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. I was homeless, and you gave me shelter. I had no clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Now, all of these things that Jesus mentioned all seem like really small things on their own, but Jesus says that whenever we do one of these things for the least of these, we do it for him. And the Bible says that even a cup of water given in love won't go unrewarded in heaven. We may never know the impact of the small acts of kindness, love and faith that we do during our time on earth, but God does. And I'm sure he'll be so excited to tell us when we go meet him one day in heaven. I'd like to leave you today with this chorus from a song by Disney Friends for Change called Make a Wave. It says, Like a pebble in the water can set the sea in motion, and a simple act of kindness can stir the widest ocean. If we show a little love, heaven knows how things can change. So like a pebble in the water, make a wave make a wave. I love you all. Have a great week. Bye-bye.